everyone, Jake Nicolopoulos here with episode number three of Road to the Universe. So this episode is going to be a training video, I trained some shoulders, but before we get into that, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things that, um, that have happened this week. Well, not a couple of things, one main thing. I, um, I sent all my progress photos to, coach, to my coach, Neil Hill. So we're corresponding with each other online. It, does, it is hard to work with a coach that's overseas that isn't actually here with me. But the good thing is I'm already very in tune with my own body. I know what works um, and I can give Neil really good feedback. So, and that's, that's the only way that it works. You know, Neil asked me to do something, I do it. I, um, I watch my body. I, I really um, take note of how I respond to what he tells me to do. That way I can give him accurate feedback and it works really well like that. So I sent him a whole bunch of progress photos. You guys probably saw on my Instagram and on my Facebook. I only posted a couple of photos, which were my best photos. Uh, my best pose is a side chest pose and a most muscular pose. So those photos I was really happy with. That's why I posted them, obviously. But you know, I've still definitely got a lot of work to do. The front double biceps, a lot of my back shots as well. Um, still, still got those weak areas, but the main thing is Neil definitely can see the improvement. I can see the improvement on the weak points. Um, you know, so all the work that I've been doing to really prioritize these weak areas to bring them up, uh, it's working. You know, I'm, I'm training hamstrings before I do quads. Uh, then I'll do another day in the week that's just hamstrings to really hit them. Uh, more side delt work, a lot more um, arm work as well. I've been doing arms on separate days. Sometimes my arms will get worked twice. Uh, even sometimes three times a week if I um, if if I can get them in. Um, so you know all the work's paying off. I'm seeing changes. Neil's seeing the changes that I'm making, and um, and it makes me happy. It makes me happy because I know that I'm I'm going in the right direction. And you know some of the stubborn muscle groups that I've had, I've tried to do a lot of different things with them. Um, and you know I don't think it really matters what you do it's just all consistency people will say even with my calves I'll be honest with you guys I've got miserable calves um, I don't know why my dad's got awesome calves so you know I didn't get those genetics off my dad uh, so I've been training them you know really hard and I think it's just consistency I'm I'm obviously I'm never gonna have fantastic calves but you know as long as I don't have calves that are embarrassing you know I'm happy so, you know, I think calves are one of those, those body groups. You can make them better, but, you know, it's not as if I'm ever, ever going to have Ben Pakulski or Dorian Yates calves or anything like that. No, that's, that's not going to happen for me. So, um, you know, I'm happy with what I've got. I just keep working them. And um, like I said, consistency every couple of days, training calves, high reps, low reps. Um, you know, they're definitely going to grow 100%. Um, so yeah, so Skype's Neil. We chatted about everything, how things are going. He's happy, I'm happy. And really looking forward to the Arnold's when the Arnold Classic's on because I'll be able to spend a good amount of time with Neil. We'll be able to train here in my gym. We're going to shoot some videos for you guys, um, and then we're going to be travelling to Adelaide for Massive Joe's. It's going to be me, Flex, Neil, Steve Cook as well. Um, so a lot going on over the FedEx, uh, over the Arnold Classic weekend, which should be really good. So like like I said before, I correspond with Neil online, so I've actually been able to be around him in person, train with him, and he gets to see my physique and how it works. So, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a little kid that weekend. It's gonna, I'm gonna be surrounded by people that I, that I look up to and admire in the sport. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. So anyway, that's my news. And um, check out the shoulder workout, and I'll see you at the end of it, guys. All right, so here's the big bad shoulder workout. Well, not really, the video's only about three minutes, so. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of exercise guys, so this is going to move pretty fast. So you can see I did uh, all my warm ups for shoulder press, I started with the dumbbells. I did the 12.5s, the 22.5s, 32.5s, 42.5s and my first working set is now the 52.5s and I got um, about 15, 15 reps on, on those. So I do have heavier dumbbells. My 70 kilo dumbbells are broken at the moment. My 60 kilo dumbbells are broken because someone dropped them. So the heaviest I went today was um, these 57.5s and I got about 10 or 12 reps there. And to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't normally go uh, up to the 70 kilos on shoulder presses all the time only because I train by myself and I really struggle to get the stupid things up. It hurts my bicep and it hurts my front delt. 
So four sets on those 57.5 kilo dumbbells, and then I went over to, to the sides. So just with the side delts, I always like to just do some continuous tension, really pump them up, um, especially when I'm trying to go sort of heavy. I won't do a whole lot of rest pausing. Um, I just take the muscle to, to failure, do a couple of half reps at the end, um, and that's it. Another four sets on that, and I moved on to an exercise next. Now, I learned this from, um, I saw Charles Glass doing this when I was in Vegas a few years ago, um, and it's an awesome way to really isolate the front delt. So it's an underhand grip on an easy bar, and you're pushing up with your front delt every rep. Can't go heavy with it. Uh, it's just an isolation movement. So try this out guys. Let me know what you think. I, I really I really like this I prefer it over like front dumbbell raises and stuff um, And then I'm talking pretty fast because it's only a short movie. It's a, uh, only three three minutes this video. So um, And then I did some side delts. So nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary Just kept the tension on my side delts. I leant over a lot more than than I normally would I found I found that that sort of took out my back and my traps um, so sometimes I do lean all the way over like that, find it hits my rear delts a little better. Uh, and then the last exercise, I just got whatever my heaviest dumbbells are, the 57 and a halfs, and, and I just did some, um, some shrugs, just slow, controlled, and just really squeezed them. Um, and because I did all continuous tension, guys, that was pretty much the whole workout done. I missed one exercise, I did behind the neck presses after dumbbell presses. Um, but that was it. So that was three minutes worth of shoulders. And there you have it guys, that's the shoulder workout. So nothing crazy again, basic exercises, a lot of tension on the muscle, uh, just trying to force as much blood in there and get those weak areas of mine to grow, especially those, especially the side delts. So, but they're coming up, which is good. So whatever I'm doing, it's working. Um, so that's it, it's what, 11.30 at night now, so I'm going to write back to some emails from people. So, actually, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy writing back to emails and answering questions that people have. Um, so, if you guys, if anyone does have a question that you'd like me to answer, you can go on the Massive Joe's page, and there's like an athlete tab. You can find me on there, um, and down the bottom of that page, you can send me a question, and that'll email me directly. So, you can send me whatever questions you want. I'd say that nothing is a stupid question, but there are a lot of stupid questions that I get. But if it's serious, I'll write back, all right? 100%, I'll write back to you guys. I wanna help as many people as I can. Um, and, and that's really it. So subscribe to the videos, guys. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button up there, up there somewhere. And uh, next episode, I'm gonna do another, just a, a free talking episode. I'll, um, I'll think of a topic to chat to you guys about and we'll go with it. So that's it. I'll see you all in the next episode.